So one of the things that we're pioneering at Circle uh, is a treatment for a condition called post-thrombotic syndrome. Now post-thrombotic syndrome is a set of symptoms that people get after they've had a deep vein thrombosis. Now a deep vein thrombosis is when the main vein deep in the leg, usually the thigh and sometimes something called the, the iliac vein, clot off. It's a bit more common on the left side and it's a bit more common in women after pregnancy and that's because women often have a, a natural um, narrowing in the vein coming out of the left leg. Now, when people get a deep vein thrombosis their leg swells and they can then have problems um, because the blood just can't get out of the leg. What is happening is the artery is taking blood in and the vein can't drain it properly. So it's a bit like someone's closed off the main motorway and the blood has to come down the country lanes to get out of the leg and the country lanes just can't cope, which is why the leg swells up. Now, if someone's had a deep vein thrombosis, they can develop this problem called post-thrombotic syndrome. And there are two main types. One is when the leg is chronically, that means long-term swollen. And we can sometimes treat that by inserting a metal stent in to open up the motorway, for want of a better word, and allow the blood back out of the leg. Often it never makes the leg perfect again, but it can get rid of the symptoms of post-thrombotic syndrome. Now, when people have obstruction, they tend to have a, a leg that's fatter than the other side. When they go for a walk, they will often get aching in the calf and or the thigh, and their legs tend to get tired. So anybody who's had a deep vein thrombosis and is getting problems with a chronically swollen leg, it's well worth them coming to circle to see a vascular surgeon. We can then do a one-stop appointment where we do an ultrasound to check what's going on to see if we can help. So the second type of post-thrombotic syndrome is something called reflux post-thrombotic syndrome. So going back to the idea of the motorway where it's been blocked off, I'm going to give you another analogy, which is a canal. Now the, the way water works in a canal is it doesn't fall down because there are lock gates. And in our bodies we've got a whole series of lock gates in the deep veins that they're called non-return valves. Now when people have a deep vein thrombosis, it's a bit like the canal freezes over. And when the canal freezes over, the lock gates are sometimes stuck to the sides. And then when the deep vein thrombosis clears, and it does in some people because they've been on an anticoagulant, the lock gates get stuck open because they've rusted open, for want of a better word. And so that means when a person with this condition stands up, blood rushes straight down to their ankle. And they often feel it like a bucket of blood falls down into their ankle and that puts a lot of pressure on the skin and they get swelling which is worse towards the end of the day they get changes in the skin and at worst they get leg ulcers and that can be an absolutely miserable and, and really the only way to treat that at the moment is to wear compression stockings which aren't very much fun in hot weather what's really good is at Circle we've helped to pioneer a new technique where we build a valve inside one of the deep veins now it's not suitable for everybody uh, but we find it maybe one in 15 people that we see in our specialist clinics, we can help them. And we need to do other tests, which is something called a venogram, which is done in one of the bigger hospitals. But the surgery itself can be done as a day case. It involves a cut which is only three or four inches long in the groin. And patients can return back to normal activity literally within a few days. They do need to stay on anticoagulants um, for at least three months afterwards if they're not already on it for the rest of their life anyway. In terms of our results for the anti-reflux procedure as we call it, or neovalve, um, about 8 in 10 people have had some improvement. And where patients have had a chronic, so a long-term ulcer, we've found at least half of them have healed up by the time of their follow-up. So it's one of the great things we can do at Circle, which is this pioneering research, but new techniques to help people uh, and especially those with reflux post-thrombotic syndrome, they're the ones who have pretty been pretty much been abandoned by the medical profession because nothing could be done in the past. Um, but at Circle, we can help some of those patients.